Thank you, Nidhi, and thank you, Galad and Alan. Uh, so we're going to go into the Q&A roundtable now. And we'd like uh, to take this opportunity to remind you that you can ask a question using the Q&A window on your screen. Um, I'm going to take uh, the first question, then I'm going to kind of bounce it back and forth between Alan, because uh, I know he has a set of questions. Uh, so uh, first question that's up, uh, AI server consists of tightly interconnected GPUs. Do you see the benefit in multi-mode fiber optical transceivers to save cost and energy as compared to single-mode fiber? Hello, do you want to start there? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So, so uh, yes, you know when 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 you build an AI AI system, obviously, you want to tightly interconnect all the compute elements, not just GPUs, the GPUs and CPUs together, of course. Um, we we do use you know the the quantum platform. We do use uh, multi-mode transceivers. We do use multi-mode fiber uh, to be able to connect distances of up to around 50 meters give or take so essentially on the on the on the connectivity perspective we're trying to not just use optics obviously but we're also using copper we're using copper we're using passive copper that uh, uh, optimize cost and reduce power consumption of course and, and copper cables are typically more reliable so we do use copper as much as possible and we do use active copper that extend the, the, the copper distances to a uh, little bit longer. Um, and then when you cannot do copper anymore, then we need to go fiber and we're using fiber uh, connectivity. Uh, multi-mode, leveraging multi-mode as much as possible, up to 50 meters. And when you need to connect more than 50 meters, this is where we go to single mode. Great. Thank you, Galad. 